Hi, Steve Skidmore here. Hope you're all enjoying your time at summer school and have had a great week. Now today I wanted to introduce you to an imaginary world that Steve Barlow and I invented. It's the world of Dragonsdale and there are four books in the series. Sky Dancer, Riding the Storm, Snowfall and Dragonfire and Riding for Gold. Now we wrote this under a different name. We used a pseudonym and that's a posh word for a false name. Pseudonym, false name. We called ourselves Salamander Drake because it's a book about dragons and Salamander Drake is a sort of pseudonym that's dragonish. A salamander is a fire dragon and Drake is the old English word for dragon. So when you get Sir Francis Drake, who's a Tudor pirate, he was called the Dragon of the Seas. Or Dracula. Drac means dragon. So we chose the name Salamander Drake for our imaginary world. We decided to invent an imaginary world that had no cars, no bicycles, no motorbikes, no cyclists, nothing like that. And they didn't even have horses. So what did they use instead to get around? They use dragons. It's a world of dragons. They ride dragons. They breed them on their farms. They use them to pull wagons, to transport people. And they also use them to race and have equestrian events. They compete, they hunt. So it's an imaginary world. Now, when I was young, I loved reading books with maps in the front of them, so you could follow what the action was going on. Ah, things like Narnia or The Lord of the Rings. So we decided to draw a map of our imaginary world, the Isles of Bressel, where this whole series takes place. And here it is. Now you can see all around me the world of Bressel the different islands, the places where Cara, who is the main character, and her friends all live. So Cara lives on Dragonsdale, which is a dragon breeding farm owned by her father called Hugh. And she has loads of friends at Dragonsdale. There's Brina. There's Woni, and there's the new stable lad, he's a boy called Drain. And it explores the whole relationship between humans and dragons. And Cora has a very, very special dragon. That dragon is Sky Dancer. Now, Sky Dancer is a wild dragon, and nobody can ride him except for one person. Who do you think that would be? Now, Dragonsdale is one of five dragon breeding farms on the Isles of Bressel. And they are real rivals. We have Wyvernwood, Wingover, Drake Lodge and Clapperclaw. Now, Clapperclaw, they are very much Dragonsdale's rivals. They are owned by a man called Lord Torrin. And he has a daughter called Hortense, who is not, seriously not, Cara's best friend by a long way. In fact, Hortense does many, many bad things in the book. There's so much to explore in the world of Dragonsdale, so I thought I would read you out a little bit out of the first book called Sky Dancer. Now, in this, Cara and Sky Dancer have gone into the wilds of the island because. Lord Torrin wants to try and buy Sky Dancer, which is a terrible thing for Cara to have happen. So she's gone away and hidden. But the problem is, in the wilds of the islands, there are some dangerous creatures. Fire dogs and howlers, who are deadly creatures. She's lost in the middle of the islands. There's mist coming in. She hears something. Cara, the voice was familiar and completely unexpected. Drain, 
Drained it was, dishevelled, exhausted, half fainting from his exertions. What in the islands are you doing here? Carl demanded. Looking for you, Drain gulped for air. Why? You know it's not safe out here, especially at night. Oh, I could ask you the same thing, said Drain. Well, yes, but that's different. I had to get Sky away from Dragonsdale and... Drain grabbed Kara by the arm. That's why I came to find you. Your father is tearing his hair out. At first he couldn't find you and he was furious, but after that he was out of his mind with worry. Oh, Kara, you've got to come back. Look, I'm trying to, said Kara. I lost my way in the mist. So did I. The... He broke off as a long, wavering howl burst from the mist directly in front of them. It was answered by choruses of howls from every side, and behind them, close to their left, low and menacing, to their right, high-pitched and hysterical. Instinctively, Kara and Drain drew closer together and backed towards Sky Dancer, who reared, beat the air with his wings and hissed a warning. It seemed to have little effect. Eyes began coming closer and closer. As they approached, the hunters opened their mouths to bay. A deep red glow like the inside of a furnace burned between their savage teeth and liquid fire dripped from their jaws. Fire dogs, breathed Kara. And if you want to know how they get out of it, or if they do, you'll have to read the rest of the book. Now, enjoy. Here's a little video we made of the Dragonsdale. And it's on Dragonsdale website. Have a look at it. It's on www.dragonsdale.net. Enjoy. I'm looking forward to reading some more with you, maybe, when we talk on Friday. Take care. Far out in the ocean, beyond all the shores we know, hangs a huge bank of mist called the Veil. Vale. The shimmering white curtain of the veil hides a wonderful secret. For beyond the veil lie the Isles of Bressel, the land of the blessed. The Isles are home to humans and merfolk. And dragons. Dale, the series, available from Amazon.